What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm actually sitting in my car, I'm at work, it is lunch, as you can see. I'm dressed up a little bit, kinda nice, I don't know. It's not really that nice, but I got my lunch right here. But I thought I'd post a little bit more, get a little more content for you guys. Of course, it's always gonna be car related, so yeah. I guess first things first, today I actually have to send out an order. Um, I surprisingly still get orders here and there, you know, a couple of week. But uh, I do have stickers for someone that just ordered. And thank you for buying a ticket to the Drift event. Uh, I really appreciate it. So I actually am hosting, I don't think I told anybody yet, I am actually hosting a Drift event at Apple Valley Speedway. So if you are in the LA area, SoCal area, make sure you pull up as a spectator, as a, a driver. I have 12, 12 seats? I have about 12 seats left. So I'll put all the information on the screen. and in the description below so you can register if you want to drive with us so make sure you check that out but yeah let's uh let's go drop this off um i gotta find a mailbox near me and come back and i'll talk about what's gonna go on in this video all right if y'all don't know i've been drinking yerba mate since day one which is quite some time now but things are addicting man I can't stop sponsor me yerba mate someone tag them email them tell them i want to sponsor please because this is my favorite drink you've never seen a yerba mate drift car on the track like a sponsorship type deal so help me out man thank you for your order uh sending it out right now yeah hopefully it gets to you and let's go all right so i want to talk about what is going to happen in the next clip because you're gonna see my car is torn apart pretty much i have the coilovers out i have the rear toe arms out i have the disc out and i'm about to pull the subframe and the subframe collars lips are cap and so i have some explaining to do because i kind of was just on a whim thinking one day came coming back from oregon like what do i need to do what is the next step what's going to make me a better driver and of course your car mind your car does not make you a better driver Make, driving makes you a better driver. So, in an effort to support my driving, I decided to doing a refresh on the rear suspension because I already did the front like a year ago. Now it's time to do the rear. And so, that consists of subframe bushings um, and I've actually bought all excessive subframe bushings, which is most people run 309, um, I don't know, solid subframe bushings. I'm actually running the excessive poly one so i hope oh shit that was a puddle i hope they they feel just as good um i haven't seen anybody run them and i am big excessive fan i run almost all their stuff on my car so we're gonna see how that turns out but i'm running the excessive subframe bushings the excessive front bushings and or the excessive diff sub front bushings and the excessive diff rear bushings and so Hopefully that's gonna come in soon, but I have to get that pressed out of my old subframe. All right, as you can see, the car is missing the diff, missing the coilovers, missing the toe arms. Same with the front, just missing the coilovers. Car looks like I'm parting out the car. Got the bumper sitting up there. And yeah, we're actually on the way to go sell the old diff and coilovers and drop off the new diff to get welded. So. <sighs> this car what can't wait for the transformation, but there's also parts that I'm thinking about ordering now. So Let's go sell it first. Okay, so this is the FRS diff. This is getting sold. This is the new 3.9 and Coilovers are for sale all this stuff taken out and ready to uh, Move on to new things. So let's go meet the guy All right, so we just sold the stuff they want to film the guy, but now we gotta drive to Sunnyvale a uh, friend referred me to a shop up there to get a diff welded so it's gonna get plated and welded and yeah it's rush hour traffic so uh, just gotta probably get some food 608 we're gonna meet him at 7.30 I think yeah 7.30 your boy was starving had to pick up that Chick-fil-A though Ooh, Chick-fil-A best sandwich chicken sandwich hand down don't at me all right, about to get this diff welded. I'm um, excited to go back to welded, but I'm not excited to how it's gonna sound and feel. 
but uh, I also gotta press these bushings out. Maybe I'll ask the guy if he has a press, because honestly, pressing and bushing sucks, and uh, I don't have a press. But I know these are not terrible. I've seen videos on it where you can just heat it up and knock it out. So, we'll see. But yeah, at the guy's shop, waiting. Uh, put it Instagram right here. I don't know his shop name. I don't know if it's like an actual auto shop, so we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm actually getting it plated and welded. I've heard mixed reviews about getting plated and not getting plated. Just get welding it is strong enough. Plating it is better. I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, I like to get it plated just because of ease of mind, but also when a plate breaks, when it's not a good weld, it's also bad for your diff, so. All right, back home. And honestly, all I can do is just wait for now. I gotta wait for the diff to come in or diff to be welded. Should be done tomorrow. Car parts should come in sometime this week or next week, but I'll be on vacation this weekend. So it's not like I can even uh, work on it anyway because I don't have the parts. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I did go to Drift Week this last this past weekend. And so to end this video, let's watch some clips from Drift Week 3 because I don't have enough to make a whole video, but I have enough to throw it at the end. So if you guys stayed this long, enjoy. All right, we just stopped by again some Hawaiian barbecue. Apparently there's a lot of Hawaiian barbecue out here in Medford, but in the parking lot because nothing's open. And then we're gonna head to Affinity Circuit. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, crowded and people there because it's also a Friday. Look at that mountain view. Jesus. I think we're almost there. Three minutes away. All right, so we made it out here. FRS. Just gonna find some parking, I guess. That Matt Fields car, Chelsea Denofa. It's a rear wheel drive Subaru, the item B. All a bunch of people in the pit. Anti heroes, you got Wyatt, the Bellino stand. with the uh, and Wyatt and I'll probably get a ride along with someone else. Gonna ride in Wyatt's car. 